Okay, so hello everyone. Today, uh, I are going to make another uh, example tutorial. Uh, so today we want to solve a problem about the, this multi-scale analysis of woven plate using Threadcom Pattern GUI. So before that, the, we we need to have some background information. Uh, so for a woven plate, uh, a woven structure usually we consider it has different scales. First, as the uh, fiber and matrix scales, we know the properties of fiber and the matrix, and usually we will use these constitute properties to uh, compute the infective properties of Young's, because we consider within Young's there are many fibers, and then as so this would, we can consider this uh, as as the uh, microscopic, and then as a meso scale, we use the infective properties of Young's uh, along with the matrix properties to compute the uh, uh, beam plate shell or solid elements uh, for the structure analysis. Here, because we use MSD models, we have different choice. Uh, we not only can get the uh, solid uh, element properties, but we can also get beam or plate shell stiffness matrix. So that's all. This is the background information, and then for this problem, we want to analyze this uh, laminate plate with uh, this kind of layup. And uh, what we know is the uh, uh, geometry shape of this plate and uh, the loading and the boundary conditions, and also we know the fiber properties, matrix properties, and the fiber volume fraction. So to perform multi-scale analysis, we need to first perform the microscopic homogeneity analysis. As we mentioned before, uh, there are many fibers within a Young's. Therefore, we can use the MSD solid model to compute the infective properties. And the procedure is exactly the same as the uh, last uh, example tutorial, so I will not repeat it. Uh, the detailed steps are also given in this uh, uh, in this menu, and then we will go from here at the meso scale homogenization. Now we have the infective properties of Young's. We want to perform a meso scale homogenization analysis uh, to get the infective properties of this uh, two by two twelve woven composites. So, okay, uh, so this is a microscopic model. We don't need this, and. Uh, Okay, this is an empty file, uh, which we make a name as Mesoscale Two, uh, because we have uh, already done. Uh, I have already done all these examples as uh, uh, official uh, example, which will be sh released along with this menu. So this is an empty file, just used for making this tutorial. Okay, here and. Uh, we need to invoke Swiftcom. Okay, and then here we have a function to create to quickly create the woven composites. Uh, this is actually integrate uh, by integrating TextGen, which is the open source software, into this uh, GUI. So what we want is this two by two twelve, and uh, we can keep the uh, default parameters. Uh, let me use uh, another name, 12, I see, okay, click apply. You see at the background it will create this uh, this file. And then we go to Sudcom, go to import SC file. And then uh, we need to find where this, our SC data. So how to build this SC data and other things has been uh, show in our first video about the installation, uh, but there are some diff. Uh, we need to slightly change something. I will talk about later. So we first uh, uh, import this file to our database. Okay, so the thing I didn't show in the first video for first video about the installation is we actually need to change another. Uh, 
test in this man one dot py. So here, so we need to change the SC data folder path uh, here. Sorry, I didn't mention this as the first video. So, uh, but it's only uh, used when you create a woven commodities. So if you want to use this software to do other things instead of using the woven functions, then this would be fine. But if you want to use woven functions, you need to change it. Okay. Uh, so we have uh, this woven structure genome. So we can see it more clearly. We have different groups here, and uh, we have total eight youngs. Then we define each young as an individual group. The reason we want to we we design it this way is we can actually assign different properties for to different youngs, and uh, this will be more flexible. But it and more works when you define the properties. So we can see it more clearly by just show the youngs. Okay. Here. And uh, see we have a pretty good shape. And uh, next, let me see. We have create our properties. And the next, uh, we need to input the uh, effective properties we get from our microscopic analysis, which is here. And uh, uh, one thing we need to mention is we have different conventions uh, to define the constitutive equation in Nastrian and the third count. So this table lists the relative uh, relations. Uh, when we input the uh, properties, we need to be aware uh, some uh, values are not in the uh, same location, uh, which I will show later. So first, we go to material. We first need to define our material properties. So the material properties would be the same as our as in our microscopic analysis. So this is this one. Just to overwrite it, and then go to 3D anisotropic. So, unfortunately, currently we uh, can only manually uh, update this. So, it's going to be to have to do some uh, physical work. Okay, so we have defined all the material properties. Now what we need is actually very simple. Go to Swiss Comp, go to Home Station, go to Solid Model, and then choose the local coordinates. Because now we are dealing with Young's, which is not an isotropic material, and uh, we need to consider the local material orientation. 
So here we need to change this element orientation to elementary orientation to the local, and then click apply. You see the properties uh, are automatically popped out. So this is the three D properties of this uh, uh, two by two twelve woven composites. Okay. Now. This is for the meso scale analysis. What we want actually is to perform a structural analysis. Okay, here. Uh, if we can go back to the problem statement, we can say, yeah, this is a problem we want to solve, and uh, this is a structural problem. Now, what we need to do actually is the macroscopic analysis. So we close this one, and then open a new uh, database. And uh, go to the geometry to create our 2D plan. Okay. So the dimension is 50 long and 50 wide. Click on plot. Okay. And uh, okay. Then we invoke suit comp. Now here we have a function that can import the uh, I see material properties directly into the patient database and what we use is the plate model and uh, here uh, we want to use uh, pcomp plus this MAT8 okay and uh, go to our IC uh, data and then click this one you see that Actually, the properties has been defined for PCOMP. Go to the material, go to the 2D isotropic. You see the properties are automatically import here. And uh, what we want is actually create a composite. We can give it a name as uh, laminate, and then the material name be this one and uh, we have 14 actually 14 layers the thickness is 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 and the lay up uh, Lay up would be forty five zero zero forty five zero zero forty five symmetric. Okay, forty five zero zero forty five zero zero forty five symmetric five zero forty five. Okay, and I delete this line. Okay, so this would become my uh, laminate. Click apply. And uh, go to properties, 2D shell and uh, laminate. The properties is, okay, wait, uh, lamina. Let me double check. 2D shell, thin laminate, okay. 2D shell laminate import input properties which is this lamina laminate okay and uh, select this region which is our service okay click apply okay we have defined our properties to this uh, structure and the next is to define the uh, boundary condition and the loading so what we want actually is the fixed boundary condition here
Okay, so the next region wants this H. Okay, apply. And then we want a pressure at the uh, Eight pressure negative ten. Okay, it's like add. Okay, apply. Okay, so we have defined our boundary conditions and the loading condition. Now go to mesh and uh, we can because this is just a very simple geometry. We can create a uh, structured mesh something like this okay now I think we are ready to submit this job and uh, click apply okay and uh, then we need to access our results and the object is a xdb file click apply Okay, and then go to results. You see we have the results uh, here, and uh, what we we first want to see the like the displacement, like in tilt, and we can also see the uh, deformed shape. So I can, I can apply. Then we have this uh, pretty good counterpart. And then we can also see the stress actually. So this is at the layer one, and uh, uh, this will miss this stress. Click apply. Then we have our will miss this stress. So, yeah, that's all. This is how we use a multi scale analysis to perform a woven plate structure analysis a layered woven plate, a woven laminate structure analysis. So let's just uh, do a quick review. We first perform a microscopic microscopic home generation analysis to get the infective properties of the youngs which is given here. Once we have the young properties we can do the missile scale home generation analysis to get the Effective actually is the effective lamina properties, which are given here, and uh, then we can uh, using this GUI to import these properties to perform a structural analysis, which at the microscopic, uh, macro scale, and then get the structural response. That's all. If you have any questions, please let me know, and uh, hope you enjoy this. Tutorial. Thank you.